So we're just going to hear a little bit about some of the legacies of both the United Nations Environment Program and thus of 1972. Small little glimpses into important things that maybe you're not aware of. Karma Vangdi is head of operations at the Television for the Environment, uh, TVE. It's a UK registered charity that works with filmmakers and partners worldwide to run media projects, makes films, and works to promote effective evidence based storytelling about environmental issues. TVE was actually set up by UNEP, so it actually is a legacy of 1972, but also Central Television in Britain and WWF. Come up, you're digitalizing your amazing archive, which goes back so many years. This is a fantastic resource for current and future filmmakers, but also for environmentalists and historians. We're going to watch a very short video before we have a quick chat. So I'd ask the team to roll video one, please. Super karma. And, and you know, if people want to know what, why, why we're here, where we are right now, looking at these films can tell them a lot about the journey that humanity has been on and where we need to go. So that's a legacy project that TV is doing, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, but it's not just about a legacy that we've got you on the, on the show here today. Can you tell us briefly about the, how we don't have time partners and uh, the audience that's viewing can get involved in the 2022 Global Sustainability Film Awards that you're just about to launch. Thanks, Nick. Uh, great sessions from all the speakers earlier. Um, yeah, so the Global Sustainability Film Awards was launched in 2012, and this is our 11th year. The awards, uh, this is an uh, annual award where we recognize outstanding films from the business, nonprofit, media, and the creative sectors that inspire audiences with the real world solutions. To, uh, to bring about more sustainable um, ideas about what can be done. So, you know, the the idea behind the whole session today was looking, going back to the nature-based solutions. And uh, the idea be behind the awards is also looking at some of the solutions for, right from corporate, uh, corporate houses to uh, independent organizations where they can look at uh, some of these solutions which are already available there, but if it can be scaled up to larger audiences. Um, so the idea behind the awards is also to highlight these companies, these organizations, and these ideas. And uh, we're launching the awards again this year on the 16th of May. The awards will be held in, uh, towards the end of November at Bath in London. Right, great. So we have BAFTA, which is the British Academy for Film, TV, and the Arts. Fantastic. So, Karma, thank you so much for being on the show. Very brief, I know, but it's been great. Can we just uh, roll video two, which is about the Global Sustainability Film Awards? <laughs> 